I traded my uh, 99 Land Cruiser for a 2017 Toyota Tundra. This is the limited crew max edition with a five and a half bit. I installed the toolbox myself. Um, so it kind of looks a bit more smaller, but <laughs> it gets the job done. Aftermarket LED lights. Um, as you can see, we have our center console armrest with the limited edition badge. I have this aftermarket organizer. Um, bear with me. Uh, the reason why my inside looks like that is because there was a organizer here, but it was too small, so I had to remove the rivets and the rivets with metal. Uh, so I just got to go through with some uh, plastic putty and uh, clean that up. Uh, let's see. You have your. You can put business cards here, pens, um, and I think tissues here. Two cup holders, a uh, place where you can put your foam, straws, another mini cup holder. Uh, you got your power outlets. Uh, you got a USB and aux port as well as security. This is your hit unit. Um, it's a stock hitting unit which comes with an XM uh, satellite radio. So you got your standard. Uh, radio with antenna then above you have your XM radio on the roof So as you can see it's a pretty decent sound system a lot of people complain about it um, It's definitely an upgrade from what I've came from when it comes to comparison of a stock uh land cruiser hit unit for a 99 land cruiser this is definitely a upscale uh you got your place where you can put anything i call that the anything uh, a lot of ford owners they put their glasses there we got a sunroof or uh, the true technical term is moon roof i don't know why they call it moon roof because i I've, I've never driven at night open up this glass here that I call a sunroof and actually looked at the moon while driving. Never did that before. Nice leather dash right there, wood trim. Here is, I haven't replaced these yet, but all of them, they come with uh, the lights. I got my glasses thing there, which you can also put here, but it's just so convenient, just like pop, pop. Beautiful steering wheel. Uh, this is pretty much for controlling the radio. Uh, right now it's off, so it's, it's just gonna beep at us. Volume, uh, this is to do different displays. As you can see right now, it's saying the door's open and that's how much gas we got left. Phone buttons here. Your sensor that detects uh, when you're too close to an object or object is coming to you, it'll basically uh, throw some warnings and other stuff at you, which pretty much kind of warns you like, hey, you're too close or something's too close. Uh, you got your traction control, tow haul, which is pretty much makes uh, different adjustments to the transmission to accommodate towing. You got your trailer gain, uh, which is pretty much the trailer brake. Heated seats, so you got your heated seats function. Uh, it's got four by four. So you got two wheel drive, four wheel low, four wheel high. All right, all right, to our left. To the left, to the left, let's make this quick. Uh, you got your mirrors adjustments, you have your uh, dome uh, door lights, so off, on, there we go. This is your headlight adjustments. Um, you know, uh, commonly if you do like aftermarket headlights or something of that nature, or uh, the more common thing that they pretty much use this for is say for instance you were to uh, haul something with weight and it pretty much may uh, make you know your trail your, your bed either go down a little bit and kind of push the front up you know if, if you guys just really haul and stuff like that and you can pretty much control your recalibrate how you want your headlights to beam 
Uh, let's see, we got your bed, the truck bed, uh, light. So like this, the middle is pretty much when the door is open, off, on, where you want to manually turn it on. This is your blind spot management system, which is pretty much uh, we have it on. If a vehicle gets too close, a uh, sensor will come up. And we have this, which is the window, rear window. You got your adjustments here for your seat. It's got a nice, cool tundra. It's got the running boards. I'm telling you, these doors are massive. Uh, as you can already see, my truck is pretty much useful. Um, it serves its purpose very well for my family. Got these gorgeous mats. Um, back here, you got two vents. Uh, you also got another place for connecting anything that you need for power. Uh, these seats do fold this way. Um, so you can pretty much take this, pop that. Let me make sure that didn't go anywhere. Um, take that and just pop it there. But of course, this car seat's there. This seat does not fold back. However, there is a modification way that you can do it. Um, not saying he should, because you kind of got to break or bend a bracket. Uh, these are 20s. I think they're 275, 65. Nah, 275, 55 are 20s. Yep. It's got an absolutely gorgeous. Those are aftermarket LED headlight bulbs for the daytime. That's why it looks so bright and so orange, because they are bright and orange. She's quiet. She is quiet. Definitely dusty though. Man, oh man, she is dusty. What the heck what I've been doing? My truck was not dusty when I bought it like that. Man, I've been. Oh, I know why it's dusty. I need to blow all this stuff out. Um, just doing some some yard work, trimming stuff. Again, I installed my uh, toolbox. Take my uh. Yeah, it's locked. It's got a lock on it. So for the guys that are wondering, it does have a lock for you to lock your tailgate. So that way no one can open it. All right, so I installed a rough country mat. It's a rubber mat. It's a very, 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 very thick rubber mat. And as you can see, it's been raining, but as you can see underneath, it's dry. Right. And yes, this is the Linex uh, bed. Again, this mat is thick. It's thick. It's supposed to be uh, made out of recyclable parts. So that's awesome. Awesome. This is a, uh, I want to say quick, but it seems like it's been a very long tour. So. Chit chat with you guys latest. Peace.